This offense for the Red Wolves returning nine starters. Very experienced, very talented as well as Freddie Knighton's going to eat this one in the backfield. As the Tigers come in defensively, Marcel Frazier leading the way. His arm, he's had, he has very long arms. He stays where he needs to be. He stays home. He does not get caught up in the play fake. That's what Missouri has to do with this read option. They and now they're down and long. Last season, you see the numbers for the Red Wolves. Knighton with plenty of time. And he's got his man across midfield. Arkansas wall on the pass block. You had a blitzer coming from the outside. You watch Knight. He steps up in the pocket and delivers a strike down the field. Making the most of it tonight. First and ten now for Knight with time. Tosses it out there and his receiver wasn't looking. Tyler Trossen got to turn his head. He got to. Knighton again tries to take it up the middle, but right there to meet him, Charles Harris, the sophomore. And we're going to have fourth down coming up. Well, here in this first quarter. Red Wolves back to the ground attack. Well, I'll tell you what, Kentrell Brothers, one of the top linebackers in the SEC for us last week. Knighton working out of the shotgun. Hands this one off, and his running back just surges forward, Michael Gordon. Run the football, and this is going to be a first down. And I love it. Old school, and you're trying to run east and west, north and south. I love this. So he has no opportunity to fall east or west. He falls forward. Great job by that offensive line. Stronger than we were. Freddie Knighton looking towards the sideline, and that is going to be picked off. And John Gibson now with an opportunity for Missouri. Makes a spin move at the 20. And he'll take it near the 10-yard line. The defense for the Tigers comes up with a big play to turn the momentum. And that play was made by Charles Harris. He got pressure on Knighton. Knighton couldn't step into that throw, threw it off of his back foot, didn't get enough on the football. You see Charles Harris get in Knighton's face. Knighton tries to throw the ball off of his back foot, couldn't get a lot on it, and easy pickings for John Gibson. And 35 yards on the return. Knighton, well, it took a big shot that time. By and go off on him. I like keeping it positive. Now first down. This guy has been tough to bring down, Michael Gordon. He picks up about five yards before he's stopped by Michael Shear. Trying to slow down this Arkansas State offense. Here's Knighton, and he'll be buried at the 30-yard line. Good job by Charles Harris, the redshirt sophomore. Loss of four on the play. Now Knighton. They run the football again. And this is to number 30. Johnston White, who's gotten some 30, positive White yardage White. tonight. Loaded up on the right side. Knighton's going to have to get out of trouble. Under pressure. And this is incomplete. Had a man at the 47-yard line, but squirts through his arms. Great job by the Missouri defense bringing delayed blitz. Not allowing Knighton to sit back there and get comfortable. You got him on the run. He wasn't able to set his feet and get waking up. Tough situation for Freddie Knighton. Third and 21. And he is sacked back at the 20. Charles Harris, the red shirt sophomore. And he has been flashing all night. And you see that quick first step, that basketball background. Watch the offensive tackle. Jamar Clark, you cannot play high. When you've got someone, he plays high, he spins to the inside of him. You've got to bend your knees. When that defender spins, then you can react. He was so high, he could not react. Great job by Charles. There's some attrition going on right now. James Tiberi taking over. Trying to get out of the pocket. Here comes the pressure. And a big hit made by Charles Harris. I'll tell you what, this number 91 now for Arkansas State. Well, what I like about Harris is he uses his length very well. He's relentless with his pass rush. He continues to press the pocket. Tonight through three quarters, but now it's up to the backup. Second and two. This is going to be thrown for a loss as well. Can't run a play like that against this Missouri defense. Charles Harris again, just 13. DeBerry stands in. Here comes the rush, and he's going down. Charles Harris once again. 
And this is what happens when you overset to the outside. You allow a quick defender with a great first step to beat you to the inside. Charles Harris has been wreaking havoc all night. Watch the offensive tackle. He oversteps to the outside. He doesn't have any inside leverage. And Charles Harris beats him to the inside for the easy sack. You see that change of direction.